Hello. In today's video, I'd like to talk about parts. In various videos, I've always mentioned that I prefer to use genuine parts from Infinity or Nissan. And over the years, people have always asked me, where exactly do you buy these parts? You know, you seem to get them at a good deal. And I think I would usually give answers directly to people that asked, but I've gotten to a point where I'm thinking, I've got something to share, so let me go ahead and do that. So I'd like to tell you that uh, in the description box of this video, as well as one of the comments, I'm going to post a lot of links. But this video, it might be a little lengthy, but what it's trying to do is to show you the process that I go through whenever I'm trying to buy parts. So I'm sorry if the video ends up being a little longer than you would like, but the video is going to be as long as it needs to be to share the knowledge, to impart the knowledge that I'm trying to share. Okay, so if you're trying to buy Infinity parts, First thing, you go into Google and you type in Infinity Parts. And we'll just see what comes up. There are a few websites here. And I'm going to scroll down to Infinity Parts Deal. This one right here. So let's open that in another tab. Actually, I'll just open that as the only tab. Okay, so when it comes to this one right here the first thing that i usually try to do is get the the part numbers because i might call a part a different name you might call it a different name infinity and nissan might call it something else so i go to a parts catalog and find the part number because that's going to be the reference internationally it's going to be the same thing throughout regardless of language and all those things infinity parts deal is my favorite one for doing things like this they have a pretty good layout so in this case, let's go to Infinity Parts, and I'm going to do a change vehicle. Um, let's say I want to do a 2012 Infinity M56, so add a new vehicle. And over here, you could add the VIN number, which is one way to go about it, but I usually prefer to go by models because I, I find it easy to navigate by myself, but that's the whole point of giving this video in the detail that it's gonna be. You find a method that works for you. Select a model, we're going to go for an M56, 2012. And here we go, let's go with the fan control module. I think that's a pretty popular part. It's shared by a lot of different Nissan and Infinity vehicles, and it's something that gets replaced quite often. So that's going to be in the cooling section. I like the layout over here. Look at that. You know, the menu, the menus just make sense. Pretty intuitive. Exhaust and cooling. And it's not going to be here. This is more on the exhaust side. Exhaust, oil cooler, water pump, maybe. Hose and piping, definitely not. Maybe, maybe here. It's interesting. Shrouded inverter cooling. So I've got a few windows here. Scroll down. And let's see the shroud for the VK56VD. This is the V8 and this is the V6. Click on that. And the V8 has two control modules. Here they are. So when I hover over this part number, it gives me a part number right here, as well as the replacement part number. So let me click that. And right now, so it's got this one here, which is... Let's just call it 70 bucks, and then the bottom one. I like getting the latest and greatest number, so this is the number I'm going to copy, and I'm going to try to use it in many different scenarios. Okay, so I know that the Infinity M56 ended up being, becoming the Infinity Q70. So what I do is come here, change vehicle, go for 2019 Q70, which was the last model year. And the layout is pretty much the same, so that's good. Come here, and I'm going to click on that as well. And the part number that we're looking at is the replacement is what we see here as the original part number, at least by 2019. So that's what I'm going to go with. Let's uh, keep in mind the $70 figure. So with that in mind, I'm going to go to Google. And I can just paste the number and then enter. And so when you do that, you can see that you have a lot of different sources for this part number. You've got Z1, Parts Geek, Nissan Wholesale Parts. You've got a lot of different people, depending on what you want to do. 
What I'm going to go for though is let's pick Rock Auto. Let's do that because I think a lot of, at least in the Infinity M forms, that's usually one of those defaults that people jump onto because they're reasonably priced and they have aftermarket parts. So here you can go and select buy the make here model, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this, paste the part number here. And there we go. So far, this is the only part number they have as a replacement. They have a Gates, and it's $43, which is not too bad, you know. And I'm, I'm not considering shipping and handling yet, so apples to apples. This one's much cheaper. The issue, um, I think previously they would sell you a Beck Earnly part as well, but I, I prefer, there's some things that I just would rather not take a not gamble with and if anyone's interested i can post a video uh, i can post a link to some discussions we had in the forum where people were using aftermarket fan control modules and they would get f funny issues with the engines not just not running right and the cooling system not operating the way it was supposed to be then they buy an oem module and boom everything just works like it's supposed to be so when it's a system like this where you have the potential of causing irreversible damage to your engine, I'm not going to try to scramble to save 20 bucks. Just buy something original. So Rock Auto is one of those. I think the other one people usually go to is like Amazon. If you've got Prime, you know, that would be a pretty attractive consideration here. So let's go ahead, um, paste it and search. Sometimes shopping on Amazon is like just Walmart or some kind of a flea market, man. Everything, you know, you look, this is a first car part and it's not even <laughs> anywhere close to what I'm looking for. So let me just go back up. I noticed that it did say fan module over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, look, there's a Beck Ernley right here, right at the top. Usually you get so many different things as well, you know. So here's the Beck Ernley, which I will absolutely never buy <laughs> because of just bad experiences. But I still wanted to share that with you guys. Third option I do is eBay. I think when you have Prime, you know, you can get a free shipping and all that. Do eBay and paste it. And let's sort by highest first because we don't want to buy a full fan sometimes when you buy a full fan assembly it comes with an aftermarket fan module and i usually encourage people just throw that away and use your original one or just buy another genuine one from infinity if you have to use aftermarket parts price is a little crazy and it's weird why that part number is giving you everything you know like these, I guess that's where it is. You have some used parts, I prefer not to. Okay, here. Okay, this one's looking more like what you'd get. You know, they usually have metal covers. Okay. Okay, so here, I guess this is where the price would kind of look almost similar. But hey, why do we have an $80 one here? Well, because we have free shipping. So, and shipping is the one thing that I suppose I had not taken into consideration yet. But so we're looking at about 80 bucks, give or take. Oh, something else to remember about eBay is that they collect tax in most places. And my other issue with eBay is that, yes, you do get some genuine looking boxes, but every once in a while you get a batch of fake or I guess counterfeit parts out there. I think Amazon does a pretty decent job of trying to block it. I think Rock Auto is usually pretty good. It's genuine. It's gen genuine aftermarket parts, if that makes sense, right? But I've got I've seen people buying fake parts on eBay masquerading as OEM parts, so that's something to be aware of. I think the most if you wanted to be certain that you're buying genuine parts then you need to go to a dealership but 
this is 2022 you don't have to walk up to your neighborhood dealership and get screwed over um, you could look at some websites so let me show you what we do with regards to dealerships um, okay let's close eBay one I could do is I usually like these guys infinity I was having an issue typing infinity <laughs> a lot of eyes um, of Orland Park there you go these guys right here and obviously you have to na navigate past the ads this one this one this is what I'm looking for right here oh and I guess they've got that too okay all right this is good this is what we're looking for so what I'm gonna do is go to parts I might have gone to the wrong section there you go parts why does this look weird there's just something really odd about it I think that's one of the issues I used to have with infinity of all in park it's gotta look at that see pretty much the same but it looks different uh, I can't explain it but this is it so this is what I'm looking for yeah I, I don't know what happened here um, paste the number you could go you could go by your I can delete this let me delete this just so I can remove the 2019 part okay I, I don't quite get what happened here but paste the part number search it it's loading up it's been pretty slow of late but here it is so it gives you the current number it tells you this is what it superseded you know and it gives you the old one and I like that part and I guess it gives you the same number without the dash in between and here it is $62 now so far for a genuine infinity part this is the cheapest we've been able to see so far right and that's that's something worth noting so what do I like about them obviously I like the price number two these guys are very communicative the customer service is really good I believe this system usually forces you to put in a VIN number if you try to order something if I, if you know if memory serves me right and having so many different cars I've had the guys say hey um, your VIN number is for a Q70 but you're buying parts that look like they go to a, the 5.0 liter the FX50 is this gonna work and then you know I tell them yeah yeah that's actually gonna work I I know what I'm doing here and we have a pretty good working relationship and as I said I really like the the prices are good the shipping isn't too exorbitant and they usually have some deals every once in a while so that's that's something I really like about them I would add this to the cart but I think I already did it I think that's what I have there yeah that's what I have there and this one here brings your total to 72 bucks so so far you know for peace of mind compared to eBay and still want to buy from here because I'm really liking what they you know what they're presenting let's go to check out and see what happens here so I can't yeah well suppose I can't really show this one doesn't seem to show tax but I believe if you walked up to them they're located in Chicago if you were buying in person this tax to be paid so just weigh your options if you are from the area someone else that I actually do like buying from as well is going to be infinity OE parts direct oh it is so I was able to find it in Google pretty easily but you realize I've got so many others coming up if you don't pay attention to the ads it can kind of get you but this is who I'm looking for this one right here before I click that I want to show you this other one that has been coming up quite a lot infinity parts USA or parts infinity USA do you notice that the layout is very similar to the infinity of Orland Park layout this one right here let's go to home I guess look at the layout it, it is if not the same so infinity of Orland Park are part of a 
national network and you can usually see it in the tab I just closed right here nationwide network of retailers so and I believe these guys I'm located in Indianapolis infinity north is usually they might be in the network as well no okay this is part of the other network they're like two major infinity networks out there what are parts no, never mind, they're part of the network. So, yeah, it's just that sometimes parts end up being cheaper from Infinity of Roman Park for whatever reason. Sometimes it's just barely there. Since I live in Indiana right now, I believe if I try to buy something from these guys, I would be paying tax. Look, there you go. As much as they're in the same network, do you see the price here? $94, $94.72. 94 is the... MSRP, the manufacturer suggested retail price. So shop around, shop around. That's why I almost always just go to Infinity of Orland Park, you know. Okay, so let's go to this guy. OE, it's actually, I meant to say OE Parts Direct. That's the actual name. There you go. So unlike infinity of Allen park these guys i actually know the the individual that owns this website of this company he's not part of the infinity network neither is infinity parts deal infinity parts deal i believe they are middlemen who buy parts from different people so every once in a while i find stuff from like different dealerships if i make a big order it takes a long time but you get different dealership names on there my assumption is that they just go to this marketplace and say hey dealer could you sell us this stuff and maybe they make a profit of like two three dollars everyone you know over items i'm not a hundred percent sure but i feel like the value proposal is right here you make a very good website and we'll give you traffic type deal so this guy infinity oe parts direct i believe his name is mike and he also has this website going on and uh, he doesn't he sells infinity parts he's not as i said he's not an infinity employee by any means and 67 dollars that's a pretty decent price right compared to what we saw here was that 62 but remember i had a cart right and you saw what the number came out to be well i should have gone to check out uh, 72 or 3 so this guy here 67 bucks and it's already in my cart i was doing this kind of did a little bit of a rehearsal and it says that if it's going to be delivered to my place it's going to add you know close to five dollars to it so the numbers not very different in fact i think they beat these guys just just barely but in this case his numbers are a little better and usually they have this here five percent off shipping use the code i've always tried to use this code but it never really works so but still the prices are not too bad they're pretty well discounted one thing i i really like about them is that the convenience of purchasing as you can see these guys have paypal over here you can uh, let me go to checkout and you'll see what it looks like so you could either okay it looks a little funky right now but i know you could pay with paypal or you could use a credit card to pay if you wanted to one disadvantage of of infinity of all orland parks is that you can only use credit cards they don't have paypal set up so that's a it's a minor inconvenience i suppose if you've got i've got different ways to pay but paypal is sometimes really convenient you know don't need to pull out your credit card for anything and another thing i really really like about it, buying from infinity oe parts is that they have really good customer service um this guy will pretty much if you're looking for if you were ever looking for something that's hard to find in the united states mike is the guy to talk to because he's going to go and search for it all the way until he's very certain that infinity or nissan does not make it anymore from any manufacturer then he's going to let you know i can't find it i think generally he's one person who can really go go you know really work for you and why don't i 
I don't exclusively buy for him from him. It's been a while. I think honestly, it's been a matter of convenience. And I know this one item here looks like it's a little cheaper from him, but most times parts end up being quite ex you know not expensive, just a little cheaper whenever I buy them from Infinity or Orlin Parks. And I'm talking about buying suspension parts and things like that. And some time back, I think the last time I spoke to him in person was um, just at the onset of COVID-19. And at the time, I was trying to set up some sort of a partnership between me and him saying, hey, I think you do a pretty good service. I want to bring more um, more people to your, to your site. And maybe... I don't know, maybe it was just because of everything that was going on in the world at the time, or maybe people are used to people just always trying to mooch off of them and grift them, you know, get some something out of it. But maybe I just did not get enough of a chance to explain that I'm actually doing this so that people can stop asking me so many questions so I can just send them people send them to you and I can always share your links but I know at the time he wasn't very open to it and I wasn't quite sure why but you know I'm glad that the website is still running and as I said it's never personal with me I still think he does a very very good job for the infinity community and that's why his his website is being shown right here and talking of which you might have noticed that I've mentioned customer service as an advantage for these two websites one of the reasons that is an advantage is because Infinity Parts Deal has had a record of poor customer service, of poor communication. And I actually made a video <laughs> lamenting my working relationship with them. That was about two years ago. Um, I've done a little bit of work with them recently, not too much. I try to make sure that when I'm buying something, it's not too critical, not too time sensitive. It's not something that's not... <laughs> something that's likely to be out of production as an example because what these guys do is that again because of the way I think they do business right they're middlemen when they order something and I think actually everybody does this when you make a really big order like you buying 20 items and item number 15 is like a bolt and it's not in stock your order is not going to ship. It's just going to freeze until they get that part. The difference between the way people handle it is that Infinity Perks Deal will email you and tell you, hey, just so you know, this one is in, on back order. It's going to be a while. These guys never respond. They never even email you, never notify you. You have to kind of go back and forth. So that's one of the reasons I don't really like dealing with them. But as I said, I, I usually try to make sure at least once a year I make a purchase from them, you know, just to support them. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to go into a little more detail as to why I still buy from them. Because, I mean, I think in a capitalist world we live today is that customers always right. And if they upset you, you basically burn the whole barn down. But I still work with them. And I'll, I'll explain why. So something else just on the talking of this website here, Infinity of Orland Park, one other thing I really like about them is that remember back here, I had to go back and kind of show you, you know, go to, to from 2012 to 2019 and find the parts that work. So Infinity Parts deal, when you get this part here, right, you saw up here, it showed you what numbers it superseded, right? And those were the old numbers that you saw on Infinity Parts deal. When you go to Orland Park, down here there's another menu. You can ask a question, you know, product types, services, and what this fits. This is one of my favorite ones because, as I said, this is used by so many different... Every, any Infinity that uses a fan control module uses that part number. And here it shows you all the different cars that all the different vehicles that use that part number. So that's pretty cool. I like this one for it. Infinity Parts Deal does not do it like that, if I remember right. Let's click on that. It shows you the replacements, but yeah, it would never really show you exactly where it's used. So th that's the other reason I like using this. And I think OE Parts also does that. They show you where it's used. In a way, here, 
applications. It, um, oh, okay, vehicle fitment. There you go. Yeah, it just brings you back down to here. There you go. Initially, it shows you the engine sizes, and I thought that's a little, unless you're very well versed with Nissan and Infinity offerings, that doesn't really tell you much. But I suppose you need to scroll down a little further here, and it gives you year by year breakdown, which is a lot. <laughs> 2006 M45 M35. So yeah, I really I like those two because look at how much detail they give you, right? Okay, so I, I hope that makes sense as to why we have this and why I like this one here. I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, close these. At this point, I'd like to offer some notable mentions because the, the options I've shown here are great if you live in the United States or North America, I guess. I know you Canada usually has issues with shipping, always. Um, but if you're international, there are, are other sources for, for parts. One of them is going to be Partsuk. It looks like Suk with a Q. And look at that. I know it's an interesting looking website, but looks like a donut, right? <laughs> um, and they've got so many different models here. But and you could go by infinity. For me, I just go here to this part number place, type in the number and search it. And yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. The the metal one, that's a new one. You can see the box. This is actually genuine OEM options. And this one here, so it costs $87.79. And this might be from UAE or something. I'm not 100% sure right now. But one thing you need to uh, remember is that you'll be adding shipping to it. And maybe customs. I can't remember about customs. But at least shipping. So it's cheaper than the MSRP of 94.72. Yeah, 94.72. But there's going to be shipping. So just something to consider. The next one is going to be Amayama. And they do have, you talking about interesting, it's like a bare bones website, right? This parts catalogs, catalog, I like that. Um, seems like it's mainly JDM, Japanese based. But what I'm going to do is just go here and type in this number. Oh, oh it was shadowing, I guess. They've been watching my keystrokes and know what I'm looking for, huh? And here, yeah, as I said, you have sources in the UAE, you also have Japan, and here it gives you the price in US dollars, which is really good. This is not very different from what you saw in Part Souk, right? It tells you how much it's going to cost to get to you. Look at that, not too bad. And I really like this source because it tells you you've got 98 available. It's the best price after everything's considered, and this is your delivery date. This one here has... A delivery date that's a little you know look at that waiting for supplier this and that um, and they all they tell you is that we we have more than one that's all we can tell you so <laughs> and they also have compatibility options here so these are the diesel engines look at the 2.5 they don't have 56 feet oh here it is K45 is not here. So it's not comprehensive, but it, it does do pretty... Oh, they have not 45 They just did. Okay, goofy. Whatever reason is going on. So I just wanted to show you that those are other options. And as much as it does not look like it's a lot of... It's good money right now, or it doesn't look like a really good um, offer. Sometimes even I end up buying stuff from international markets because they're not available locally. And I don't blame the dealers here, but sometimes the dealers cannot help you at all because they say I cannot, it's not in my systems. For example, people who are trying to buy like the um, forest air components, the dealer tells you I cannot see it because you have a US VIN, I cannot help you at all. Again, no blame to them, but I felt like there's a time I was working with Infinity OE uh, Parts Direct, and as I said, the dude will work for you. And I think he sourced some things internationally, and he delivered whatever he could. So, you know, I, I, 
I'm forever thankful for that. And that again, that's why his name is here. That's why his website is here. It's going to work for you. Um, then I'll actually try to bring, bring it back to eBay. What's going on here? eBay. And for eBay, as much as initially I eschew eBay because of fakes and things like that, there are, oh, okay, here we go. There are other people, other, um, you know what, let me type this in like this. In, okay, for, yeah, there you go. I'm going to do the wheel. I'm going to go for new only. Quite a lot, 258 of them. And scroll down. There's certain people I'm looking for. I buy a lot of wheels. I'm always looking at wheels. Um, TC Infinity. I don't think that's the person I'm looking for. It was TC Infinity. It doesn't even say it right here. Actually, it might. Let me see. Let me do this. Looking at the parts they have for sale sometimes gives you an idea who they are. I'm not, I'm not certain, but no, it's not them, it's someone else I'm looking for. There you go, Sheehy, there you go, that's what I'm looking for. Infinity, she Infinity of, do you guys call it Chantilly or Cantilly of Virginia? So these guys, the reason I'm highlighting these, oh, oh um, these dealerships, they sell a lot of things on eBay, and as I said, eBay is convenient, you know, if you've got credit card, PayPal, whatever it is, you can do it there. And in the midst of all the fakery that goes on on eBay, these are two people, whenever I see a picture with with that, I know that I'm dealing with, you know, some real genuine people. So they, then they might not be the cheapest, but sometimes it's not, it, price is not everything, you know. Sometimes there are different things you look at. And here I want to show you an example of what we got going on. So I know these guys, Chantil, yeah, Chantilly Infinity. Um, what do you say? Like Chicago, Chantilly. <laughs> um, let's look at this star. 8867 items sold, 2158 items sold. Um, positive reviews in the last 12 months, 397, 5 neutral and 6 did not like whatever they got or something. 368, 2 and 8, huh, interesting. So close, right? So I guess this one might have been selling for a lot longer, but I, I just know these guys because I believe when I bought some exhaust parts, they're the ones that made it happen. And they actually have like an online shipping department or like an ebay department ebay parts person which a lot of dealerships you call they're like man just show up here and buy it man we we don't know about all the whole buying online stuff <laughs> which is crazy and so talking of which i don't know if i highlighted this but with infinity i know i spoke about um i spoke about mike with infinity oe parts but infinity of Orland Park has a guy. Previously, his the guy whose name was Eric. Now they have an, another guy we've been dealing with recently. His name is Matt, and as I said, professional, good communication, pretty knowledgeable at what he does. Um, haven't had a chance to chat with him too much, but all in all, I've been wanting to people that serve the Infinity community well. I've been wanting to boost them and put them you know put make the name basically put it out there I, I know i don't get millions of views but the few hundreds thousands that i get i'd love them to know that these guys do work i want them to thrive you know so i did mention that price is not everything right and i'll give you an example here this um with infinity m45s let's go to the m45s um, something that always fails or breaks is the camshaft sensor. That's an example people know. So again, I find it intuitive, but I've been around this area quite a lot. Electrical, well, it's going to be ignition and timing system. Okay, there you go. VK45DE. This other one is the V6. And this part right here is what I'm looking for. The cam camshaft sensor okay 
this was a part number, but then this is the latest part number, right? This one right here for $46. Cool. $47. Sometimes what people do, again, you know, you want to buy cheap parts, you go to AutoZone as an example. And at AutoZone, you look for uh, M45 camshaft sensor. Well, you know what? Let me try finding the part number first. I don't think AutoZone does. O'Reilly might. Yeah, here they don't get it. They don't know what I'm talking about. So M45 cam shaft sensor. And then they send you both a crankshaft position sensor and a camshaft position sensor. It, it, it's goofy. One person calls it a crank. The other person calls it a cam. Part number is just the way to go. See what it looks like. But I already know that's not what I'm looking for. It actually is going to be angled like this. So this is what I pick. And AutoZone has it for how much? $45. Interesting. Friend store. Okay, it's not local here, but you can buy it online. Here's one for $47. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. So sometimes people avoid the dealer because, again, they have that derogatory term for dealerships, call them dealerships, but I mean, you can buy this from a dealer for 47 and I've not even done Infinity, you know, Orland Park as an example. I know I always go to them, but let's see what it's going to cost. It's actually cheaper. Yeah, as I said, if you're walking up to them and buying it, you pay tax, but you're going to pay tax for this one as well. So why gamble? Why why gamble with something like that? What is it worth to you? Sometimes, though, people usually end up making a mistake and buying the wrong part, buying the crankshaft position sensor. The angle just looks... See, now here's the goofy thing. Now, look at this one. It's, it's all confusing. There's a lot of different things going on. This one is more expensive. This one is not too bad. 61 bucks, 116. There, there are a lot of 40. Okay, what is going on? To avoid all that confusion and the prices and things like that, just, just spend time and just buy it from a good source, you know? As I said, look at the prices. They're not all that crazy. So, as I said, money's not everything. Sometimes people do buy because they may be cheaper if you buy them from excuse me from somebody one of these aftermarket parts but you know I know what's giving me a problem here I need to put the I need to put the make model and all that stuff first boom then it will give me more relevant options there you go I knew sometimes you can get it cheaper I should have added infinity when I did my search so sometimes people are tempted because they're saying hey 32 bucks versus whatever OEM is gonna be why would I bother then this one starts giving you problems you know for the peace of mind and this is not something that you replace all the time anyway why not just do it once and do it right you know for a lot of people replacing these it's gonna be like a hundred and something thousand miles so just do it just you know don't try to save 15 bucks and end up causing some goofy problem you know inconveniencing yourself on the road you know so i did promise that at some point i was going to explain why i still buy my parts from infinity parts deal you kind of have seen it in work or you've seen it you know seen the advantages of this system they have a really really good layout you know this is not an excuse for poor customer service at all but um I have, th the main reason I do this is reciprocity. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. You have seen that for every search that I do, the first thing that I needed was the part number. No one else has an, a system as good as Infinity Parts Deal. Like these guys, I can try to distribute an ignition timing sensor. Okay, this one does kind of give you layouts and stuff, but it's not very good. And if I wanted to try to find something like the 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 fan control module I was looking for earlier, 
Okay, here we go. Cooling system was cooling. There we go. Ooh, nope, I did not mean to do that. I'm going to go to cooling. Okay. Shrouded inverter. I think that's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, let's go to that. Okay, apparently not, because that's not the one I was looking for. Let's go back here. Here. <laughs> Maybe the last one? Nope, not that either. Okay, I think you're, you're seeing exactly some of the frustration with working with any other system. I guess I should have just gone for the first one. First, this does not even, it's not clickable. You can just see numbers, there's so many different numbers, and then you scroll down and you see whatever you can see. What's unfortunate about this one is that the control module does not even show up here at all. You know, so it's a lot of frustrating trying to navigate anybody else's system. They don't do a very good job of it, but Infinity Parts deal does a very good job showing you the layout, showing you where each hose goes. These guys can sell you a hose now that you have a part number, but where exactly are these, what's, where exactly are they positioned? So my fear is always that if everybody, um, you know, threw up arms and boycott, uh, decided to boycott Infinity Parts deal, the website would, the business would basically fall right and they're gonna to have to close the shop being the only one making a purchase might not be that big of an impact being the only person who strives to buy from them every once in a while because as I said I don't know if these guys exist as a shop somewhere other dealerships have a service department you know the dealership's not gonna die because you refuse to buy parts from infinityparts.com from sorry from infinity of Orland parts but I feel like these guys, I don't know, I, I don't know much, but again, it seems like this is their core business. So, reciprocity, they do a lot for me. Everything I do, every search I get, every nice deal I get, starts from me getting the proper part number and getting to know what's new, what's old, and where else can it work. So, my thanks to them is every once in a while buying items from them. It might not be the tens of thousands that I spend elsewhere but you know they're pretty easy to work with and I'm, I'm happy that once you go to Google and just type in infinity parts they're one of the first names to come up so you know and it's got deal in the name so you know we're gonna click on that and I just think they do a great job and you know the other thing is that they actually have another sister site Nissan parts deal and yeah, let's go ahead and do this. GTR parts paste. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the the other thing. I'm looking for the. I guess I've got nothing in the cart, huh? Hmm. Um, I'm looking. For, let me just do it by GTR find my parts. So let's go to the cooling. Shroud an inverter. looking for that here I'm looking for the control module and if you notice the control module is pretty much the same one that other infinity vehicles use so part number is very important and to me infinity parts deal making that available for me is a is a big deal right so that's why I always go back and buy from them so I hope that makes sense um, as I warned in the beginning of the video, I didn't know how much the I didn't know how much information I was going to cover. All I knew is that I was going to give you some websites and some justifications for why I use them and why I don't use them. Some people might look at the websites I use and say those don't make sense to me. I'd rather use the other ones you don't want to use, and that's fine. Um, I've, I've always thought of my my YouTube channel is I'm just there to offer objective information what you do with it is up to you and again thank you if you've stayed with me for oh my I'm going to 45 minutes this was I guess a 
vlog, a podcast, something. If you watch it all the way to the end, there's going to be a lot and you'll be saving yourself a whole lot of money if you get some big projects coming up, engine replacements, you know, suspension overhauls and things like that. And I still do those things, you know, I still shop around, I get a good part number and, and for something like exhaust gaskets, I can buy them from eBay or I can buy them from AutoZone sometimes, depending on what it is. But things like valve cover gaskets actually just buy from the manufacturer buy from infinity because they're not too expensive and number two i've had bad experiences buying them from things like autozone so that's just my experience and obviously your results may vary thank you for sticking around and um, if you've got other places that you'd like to share with us go ahead and post them in the comments let's know